Hey guys, I'm Central BC here, and today I'm going to talk about the prime number tester and the Boolean class. So, class, I'm sorry, variable. So, let's get started. So, firstly, let's make an integer. I'm going to explain this along the way. Let's make an integer n, and n is going to be the number for which we are going to test. So, let's see out. Uh, please enter a number space. So, it, the user has some space. That's not end the line, actually. <coughs> sorry. I'll just end the line actually uh, okay so now let's uh, let's uh, ask the user to enter n then the enter n so let's create a boolean class a boolean class what it does is it's basically if it's a true or false statement yes if it's true the output's gonna be one if it's false the outputs are gonna be zero but you cannot you know manipulate those numbers like timesing them by three etc can't do that um, so let's create a boolean which is bool now is prime we're just going to call this is prime so is equal to true so it's guilty until proven innocent the number so it's always going to be recognized as a prime until it's not until it's proven innocent yeah kind of the other way around so let's make int i that's going to be our loop counter what it does it's actually you're going to see what it's going to do so i is equal to two now while let's make our not all handy while loop i is less than n, so while i is less than n, the loop's gonna repeat, so that's what a loop counter does. It's make sure, make, make sure, make sure the loop, the for loop, or the while loop, I'm gonna teach you guys for loop after, uh, repeats until, uh, I don't know, uh, the loop counter reaches n, the value of n or something, I don't, I don't know. So, whatever you choose. So, if n divided by, or it's not exactly divided, it's like a modulo, divided by i is exactly equal to zero. So if the remainder of n divided by i is e exactly equal to zero, I can't seem to speak today. So what you wanted to do, let's say that is prime is equal to false. Okay, so, and now let's add plus plus, i plus plus, yeah. So uh, actually, oh, whoa, 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 let's put us inside the wrong parameters, excuse me. Uh, supposed to be outside the if parameters. I'm sorry. Okay, so uh, we're nearly done with this actually. So if is prime, so this is always going to execute. So if is prime, we're going to put this between brackets. Uh, some this, 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 see out your number. So if is prime, yeah, if it's like didn't change, if your, your number is actually, let's make this look better. Your number is not is a prime. Yes, let's end the line. Let's end the line above. So just for formatting. Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry, guys. And else, else if uh, if is prime is not equal to true or it doesn't change, uh, let's say your number is not a prime. So if prime is false, it's gonna display that. Now let's just uh, do the same thing, see how it's going out. Okay, so that is our program completed. So I'm gonna run you through what this does. Actually, I'm gonna first uh, run this, so build and run. Ooh, what should I do? Okay, I just solved the errors. It was just some, uh, I just put the if bracket, this bracket here all the way down there, so it was bugging out, so let's build this. Everything is fine. I don't know why, the output size always seems to be the same. Either way, but you guys can see that. Okay, so please enter a number, let's 16. Your number is not the prime. So what this was doing goes, okay, so n is equal to 16. So we'll, all, we'll assume it's a prime. So let's uh, put two, so uh, is i, which is two, so, uh, less than 16, yes, so if, so 16 divided by 2 it gives a remainder of 0. This is false. So I'll just ignore all of this. Uh, actually, no. It just go, it repeats this. It just repeats this constantly until i is less than uh, 16. So if is prime is um, is unchanged, your number is a prime. But as it wasn't unchanged, it's actually turned into false. It went to the else and go and said your number's not a prime. I'm sorry, I'm stuttering. I don't know why, but I am, I'm sorry. So let's run this again. Let's enter, ooh, let's enter a, 
uh, prime number 13, your number is in fact a prime. So when make sure, by the way, with the loop counter, normally set it to zero, but if you do that, one, it's gonna screw up your program because it's gonna, um, it's going to divide by zero and you can't do that. And if you put it by one, it's gonna do, for example, 13 divided by one, and it's gonna say is prime is true, sorry, is false. So that's for example, 17, another uh, prime number, your number is a prime. So guess that helped you with the maths homework, which you were stuck on, I guess. So yeah, thank you for watching, guys. This has been Sci Central PC, and I'll see you next time. Bye.